so you can block your time to process it within that period. An even better way is when you're dealing with that task. You can pick it up and single it out. You can ignore others and focus on it first. Hi guys, today we are going to show you how to use the mover book. Due to time limitation, we have already set up all the elements. After opening the mover book, you can see two sides of template. This is a weekly template, including from Monday to Sunday. We will also have the buffer area and the purpose area. If you do not like this template, you can also go to a website to download different kind of variation including some with the x-axis, y-axis, or even one version of the monthly template. After printing it out in the right size, you can then cut it out and insert them into the mover book. Different people have different usage for the mover book. For demonstration, we are going to use an example of an accountant. Let's see if this method suits you or not. Today, management has come into a conclusion to close down some companies out of operation in order to make the whole structure neat and clean. So I'm going to write down this mission. Then I will put it in the purpose column. At the same time, I will plan what I need to do in the following months. For example, you can have some month end closing or quarter end closing. After that, I will put those in the purpose column because it resides back tasks or back mission. Using movers is very flexible as we can always prioritize tasks according to their importance. For example, one thing suddenly becomes way more important. We can just arrange it to the front and then we can see it at a glance. Let's process the thing which is most important first. To close down companies, we must first look into our group's organizational chart and have a glimpse. So I can write down OC standing for organizational chart. Other companies having profits, let's see their sales revenue. Are they renting any premises? Let's look into the leasing contract. How much do they pay employees per month? I'll have to check the payroll. As you can see, I have broken down a big mission into multiple aspects or little tasks. After looking into those mentioned information, I have to communicate with different departments. The first to come to my mind must be the HR department, because to close down a company, that company has to lay off the employees. And then I can think of the compliance department because different areas have different regulations. To close down companies, I have to ensure that we are complying with the regulations. Last but not least, I have to delegate some of my tasks to my teammates. So after all these, I will have to report back to the management. For color coding, everyone has different preferences, but as you can see, I'm using the blue as the back missions or back tasks. White is for certain thoughts or ideas. And red is for communication, including emails, phone calls, or meetings. So at a glance, I can differentiate my work according to different colors. Now, I will arrange the tasks into the move book, and this template has three parts. Timeline, buffer area and purpose. Timeline is from Monday to Sunday. The buffer area is for tasks which you haven't decided the time to do yet or beyond this week. For purpose column, it resides your purpose or back task and mission. Closing down companies belongs to purpose column. The back rule is to process things that are most important. Things to be decided belong to buffer area. Report to management can be put in there first, and after clearing all the things, it can be arranged back into the timeline. Okay, let's log into the files and then communicate with different departments. 
so they will be done by today and tomorrow morning. So you can plot your time to process it within that period. An even better way is that if you're dealing with that task, you can pick it up and single it out. You can ignore others and focus on it first. From time to time, I'll see what big missions I have. Oh, I'll have to do the month end closing. So let's pick it up and see what I can do to deal with it. So let's log into the system around 23rd to see whether the colleagues have finished bookkeeping. Because it's beyond this week, let's put it in buffer area first, and then when time comes, I'll put it back in the timeline. Just write down different thoughts, tasks, matters, everything, at any time. If they are not into your liking, or you have finished it, you can just tear it off or erase it. The two pages of Movable can be used continuously. Concentratedly put things that are most important into these two pages. One flip and you see everything at a glance. Everything is in your hand for arrangement. So, before I leave, let's arrange what I have to do tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending time with us. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let us know. Much appreciated.